The differences between being naked and wanting to be naked. <laughs> she steps into the shower and pulls the curtain like a cell door. No. Closes her brown eyes against us. She rubs the dead leaves and niger mud into her skin, scrubs the thick into her thighs, carves the wide into her waist. Brown strands, weakened by chemicals, detached from her head and spread into chaos on the walls. Each strand, a microcosm of the wilderness it came from, their color reminds her of her body. She always paints her skin a shade too dark. Her shape? She always gets it wrong. She's never thin enough. Her hips are always too wide, her nose too wide, her lips too wide. Each strand of hair reminds her of why she hates this regime. She thinks of the two of them. She's too shy to dream of their bodies, so she dreams of their hair. His? Straight. Soft. Hers? Straight, too, on a good day. <laughs> Maybe they will never blend, but at least these strands are willing to yield to each other's coils. When she feels brave, she dreams of their skin. His is the sunrise, casting everything in gold. Pale light she wants to bathe in. Hers, the shadow born in corners, light rejects. The distance between dark and dawn is the definition of sunrise. The distance between dark and dawn is the definition of sunrise. The distance between them is necessary. No! No. Fanny doesn't live there anymore. Mm -hmm. This morning, she shampooed herself out of her skin. Lying in all this brown called ebony, she rebaptized herself in soap suds, cleansed herself of mud and dead leaves, rinsed off shadow. She painted herself wet sand between lovers' tan toes. She painted herself tiger's eyes. She molded herself arms big enough to hold you in, sculpted warm eyes deep as pools to drown your uncertainty in, sculpted ears that could swallow your sadness. She spelled beautiful in the breakage on the walls. Stepped out of the shower and saw the sunrise.